everybody, this is Amanda. Um, I wanted to record a quick tutorial, especially for new mods of hubs. Um, and even if you've been a mod for a while, maybe you'll pick up um, uh, something new, a little trick to maybe help you save some time. Um, I am a mod for a hub called Shared Joy, and I mod every Thursday right now. And um, one of the rules that we have in place, and every mod is different, um, I'm sorry, every hub is different, so um, check with your admin. Usually there's one main admin that kind of sets the, the guidelines and the direction and kind of facilitates all the other mods. Um, so definitely check with them. Um, they'll let you know um, when you first get started. So uh, the rule that we have is that we can't feature the same person's photo more than once a week. Um, so we do that to try to mix it up so it's not the same people over and over again getting featured on the hub, um, which is kind of tough because a lot of times I'll look through the hashtag and I'll see an amazing picture, but they just got featured two days ago. So I won't be able to feature them. Um, and I do try to feature uh, from our tag um, some of the pictures that have been posted most recently. I usually don't go scrolling all the way back. Um, you know, to a week before or something like that. Although you, although you certainly could. Um, I could certainly screenshot that photo and then use it in a future week, given that they haven't been featured again. Um, for our hub, there are some of the same um, photographers who are really talented, who are tagging to our main tag. And so those are the ones that over and over again get featured and their pictures are just so good. Um, and so, and so I totally understand that that happens, um, but that is our rule. And so I'm going to teach you three different ways that you can keep track of who's been featured within the last week. Now, the first way um, is something that we don't use at Shared Joy. Actually, I think one of my mom, my mods, um, my fellow mods does do this, um, but really as an admin, you would need for all of your mods to do this. And that is creating a hashtag that is specific to that person's account. Um, so here's Share Joy. Um, I'm going to actually tap over, I think Camera Mama does this. A lot of hubs do. Um, a lot of hubs do, actually. Um, but I'm pretty sure Camera Mama does. So let's just check this out real quick. I'm going to just click on this. I am on my desktop right now. Um, let's see. Yes. Okay, so... Um, this picture was taken by Wild Whimsy Days, and what Camera Mama does is they will use a hashtag CM underscore Wild and Whimsy Days. So what can happen is that in the next few days or so, if they do have the one week rule, which they may, I don't know, I'm not a mod for them, but um, let's say they have that rule, what their mods would do is then they could click on this hashtag and see when the last time this username had been featured on Camera Mama. And so as you can see, this Wild and Whimsy Days, this account, this photographer has only been featured once. And if you click on it, then you can actually um, kind of scroll. Actually, this was done an hour ago, but it would say, you know, four days ago, or it would give the date, September 2nd, 2016. That way you would be able to tell when was the last time this photographer's picture was featured on our hub. So that's one way. And again, your admin would have all of the mods do this um, so that all of you would have a system for keeping track of it. So that's the first way. Um, the second way is, let me go back to Share Joy just because that's one I'm most familiar and comfortable with. Um, okay, so now I am on my phone. I have an iPhone. Um, and here's this picture we were looking at. And I wanted to show you another way um, that you can check to see when was the last time that lovely Tammy was featured. And again, this is only available on your actual phone. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm in the Shared Joy. This is the feature on Shared Joy. I'm going to go ahead and tap her username to go over to her gallery. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, um, do you see the little icon? It's right above her top three pictures on the right-hand side. It looks like a little, um, little square with a person in it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tap that. That is Photos of Lovely Tammy. Now, if you tap that on your own username, it's going to be um, Photos of You, where you've been featured or where you've been tagged in a picture. So these are all of the pictures where Lovely Tammy has been tagged in. So what I can do, um, so here's the one that I just saw 12 hours ago. Um, here's one she just had. That's pretty cool. 
she just had seven hours, this feature here. But let's say I'm a mod and I want to know if I can feature this picture. Um, so I can look here. Okay, so that's not Share Joy. And I can kind of tap around here and see if she's been featured on Share Joy recently. And then as I go through here, let's see how old this is. November, oh yeah, this is way old. Okay, so from this method, I can tell pretty quickly that she um, has not been featured on Share Joy within the last year. So she's more than fine. Um, let's see where this one, yep, this is from two days ago, but this is a JJ. So as long as she hasn't been featured on my hub within the last week, I'm good. And um, yeah, I love this picture here. That's really cute. That's four days ago. Um, so yeah, so she's good to go. If this were me, if I were a mod, I could easily go ahead and feature this picture. Okay, and now the third way, and this is actually the way that I do it. I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is not the fastest way. I'm not sure it's the most efficient way, but this is my way. Um, and, and if any, any of you know me, I am a fan of spreadsheets. That's just how I roll. And so I use a spreadsheet. For me, I find it just faster and easier. It does take a little bit of time and work up front, and I'll show that to you. But I feel like that time, that few minutes that it takes me up front saves me a lot of time. Um, and that way I don't make any mistakes. I don't um, feature anyone's picture that's already been featured before. So here's how I do it. Today is my day to mod. I'm going to go ahead, and again, I am on my um, laptop again. I'm going to scroll down and find the last feature I did, which was exactly a week ago, which is this one right here. So that's the last feature I did. Um, so I'm going to start here with this one. And what I do is, and let me actually show this to you, I have a spreadsheet, and this is the same old, very basic spreadsheet that I use every single week that I do this. All I'm going to do is select all of these, and I'm going to delete them all. I'm going to delete them all. Okay, because I'm going to start over. All right, so what I'm going to do, I've got my spreadsheet ready right here. In a, another tab, I've got my Share Joy open. So what I do is I actually copy and paste the username. So let me show you how I do this. I select it, and then on my laptop, I am on a Mac. I go ahead and I press Command C to copy. I tap over here, and I press Command V to paste, and then I hit Enter or Return. Then I go back here, I X out, and then I go up to the grids. Now the grids are a little more interesting. So what I do for the grids is I select Command C, pop to my spreadsheet, Command V, and return. I returned a couple of times um, because I was selected up here and I had to get down to this one. That's important. Um, again, I'm going to go back here. Um, I always keep this screen up only because I forget where I am, and so this way I know that this is kind of the food fall theme. So I'm going to go here, another grid. I'm going to select Command C, Command V, enter, 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 go up one. And I'm going to keep going like this. So just watch how I do this here. All right, so right now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stop the fast forward, and I'm gonna go ahead. We had here um, a roundup post um, or a grid of um, a special theme tag that we were running. Um, so it's a little bit different than a solo feature. I'm gonna keep this separate only because I just don't know that these are as powerful. Now, obviously, I don't want to try to use these, but if I had to use somebody in a collage. Um, I may break the rule a little bit um, because, again, this is a, a, a nine-picture um, collage. So I'm just going to keep those separate for now um, because, again, for me, it doesn't. this does not weight as heavily than someone who's had a solo feature. Someone who's had a solo feature really shouldn't have another feature, particularly a solo feature, within the same week. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, you know, again, I'm going to try not to use these people today. Um, if I can, but if I am just really trying to make a, a grid collage work and I need to use one of these, um, I may slide it in there. 
Um, so again, I just wanted to let you know that that's what I'm doing with this one. Okay, so with this one, this is one of our mods that uses, um, I think she uses an app to do this. The app that I use, and I'll show you in a little bit, is called Layout, which is an Instagram-specific um, app. It was actually made by the creators of Instagram, um, but I think this is what, what Mina Bird is using here is an app that puts in these lovely little um, arrows. I know I used to use an app called Follow Friday that did this as well. Um, so this one's a little bit funky. It's okay. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be mad at her, but um, I'm going to go ahead and copy. And the only way to copy it is with all those arrows in there, but it would screw up my spreadsheet. So what I do have to do for these is I do have to go in here and delete those arrows. They would definitely screw up my spreadsheet when I go to sort it. All right. So that's the only one that kind of takes me a little bit more time. Um, and again, not a big deal. Okay, so just to show you again, I'm tapping on the picture. I'm selecting Command C to copy. Tap up to my spreadsheet, Command V, and I'm going to hit Enter to go down to the next open um, cell on my spreadsheet. This is a very cool one. Now this one I haven't, you can see, um, this one I haven't liked or commented. So what I'm going to go ahead, I think as a mod, it is important for us to be supportive of our other mods and of our hub in general. Um, and this is an awesome grid. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the heart button here. I'm also going to click here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select these, command copy, and I'm going to say here, um, awesome colors. And the reason I'm typing a little bit more, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but um, Instagram and their algorithm in terms of engagement um, and bumping up your posts um, and sharing them with more people, um, uh, and they do that when, when there's more engagement early on with a post, usually within the first hour or a few hours after a post, um, they measure that engagement and they'll actually show your post to more people if it's getting more engagement. Very similar to how Facebook does it. Um, however, they do not count uh, comments that are just emojis and they do not count comments that have under three words. So you need at least three words in your comments in order for that to count toward engagement. Um, the longer the comment, the more it counts for engagement. So I do try to make a meaningful comment to help out with engagement here. Um, I'm also going to, I have these um, usernames uh, uh, selected and copied. So I'm just going to hit Command V and it'll go ahead and copy those. Now I am on my laptop, um, but if I wanted to put an emoji in here, I certainly could do that. I could go ahead and hit Control, Command, Spacebar. And that should bring up my emojis. There we go. Um, let's see. Oh, and you know what? The funny thing is that they, here we go. Um, let's go ahead and do a yellow heart. And then command, con, control command, space bar. I did a yellow one. I'll do a purple one. Control command, space bar. Um, and then I'm going to hit enter or return. And then it's going to, there's my comment, awesome collage. I love these colors together, very cool. And then I've mentioned all these people, so that's cool. So I went ahead and did that. Now I do have these people still copied. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add them, Command V to my spreadsheet. I'm actually gonna scroll up a little bit so that I can see a little bit better. Go back here and I'm almost done. And then this is my last one. So you see, it really doesn't take me very long. I think, um, I think in total doing this, Command C, Command V, um, really, I think it takes me like two minutes. I mean, truly two minutes. So I'm not sure how it comes across on the video, but seriously, two minutes. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I've got all of these in column B. And again, I kept that bigger nine picture collage separate. Um, and I'll refer to this, but um, these are my, um, my main features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and hover over the, uh, the column here to bring the little arrow up. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to sort ascending. 
and it doesn't work perfectly. And I don't know why it took my other people here and it's kind of weird. Oh, I guess it, that's very odd that it did that. Um, I usually don't have anything over here, but eh, whatever. Um, all right, so um, it doesn't do it perfectly. You can see it starts with Janny Ford up here, but then it starts with my A's down here. So it always does this. I don't know why it's a little glitch um, that does it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna Command X to cut her, and then I'm gonna put her where she needs to be, which is down here. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hit Alt Option, and then the Up um, arrow, and I'm gonna Command V. That's where she belongs. So here is my um, working spreadsheet. This is what I'll refer to um, before I put together a collage. Um, so these are all of the people that were featured within the last week. And I don't see any duplicates on here. Sometimes I do um, because, again, the other, um, the other methods for checking aren't perfect and you know people make mistakes so um, but this way I know that I've got everybody in here um, these over here I can take a look at um, you know and just uh, try not to use them but if I do in in a grid collage I don't think it's that big of a deal okay so that is how I put together my spreadsheet now let's go ahead and start looking for photos to feature for today Okay, so I'm back on my phone now and I'm ready to start looking for pictures to feature. But one thing I noticed is that this picture from Lovely Tammy that we've been talking about is that I didn't like or comment on it yet. So I want to be sure and do that again um, to support my fellow mods and my hubs. So what I'm going to do is I am in my personal account here. That is where I am. Um, oh, let me get back to share joy. There we are. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and give this a little heart. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a comment here. And again, you do want um, you do want to make sure that you're using text of more than three words um, in order for it to help with engagement. Um, anything less than three words, or if you're just putting emojis, that's not really going to help you. So then, what I'll do is I'm going to use the hard press here. Um, I'm going to, a hard press is a way to copy and paste a username so that I'm not actually typing out at L O V. I mean, you don't want to do that. It's going to take you forever. And especially those usernames that are kind of crazy, um, that are easy to screw up, that I just avoid that altogether by doing the hard press, which is a way of copy and pasting. So what I'm going to do is a little finicky sometimes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that at symbol. I'm in, uh, my cursor is flashing in my comment. I'm going to go ahead and just tap and hold, I shouldn't say even tap, I'm going to say press and hold on lovely Tammy's username. So I'm going to, and it can be any, it can be within um, a comment. So it can be the blue, highlighted blue font usernames, um, or it can be um, the black in bold where she's commented. So I'm just going to go here and tap and hold, and there you go. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and maybe give her little sparkles, and then I'm going to post. There you go. Very easy. So I went ahead and did that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get into Share Joy, and we're going to look for some pictures here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and search the tag Share Joy, and let's see what pops up here. So these are my top nine, and then the most recent right here. Um, gosh, really beautiful stuff here. I love the color of this cream. That is so fun. So what I might do if I'm looking is let's see I love this oh my um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take screenshots of the ones that really catch my eye so I'm gonna go ahead and for screenshotting I, I hold down my it's like the button on the right side of my iPhone 6 and then my home screen button which is the bottom middle button um, that's how I do a screenshot on my iPhone so that's just lovely um, this is really lovely too and I can like these within. It's, it's a good idea to um, engage with while you're in your hub. 
and that way more people can see um, that and hopefully it brings more exposure to your hub. Um, what else catches my eye? This is pretty with the um, purple on my forehead. And again, these are my top nine, so these are going to be pretty popular already. Get a lot of engagement, a lot of likes. Um, this is really beautiful, too. I knew that was Michelle's picture. Um, let me just go to my spreadsheet real quick and see if she's been featured recently. No, she hasn't, and I love that pink. So I'm going to go ahead and screenshot that. Um, all right, so now I'm going to look down and see if any of these just really catch my eye. That's beautiful. Um, oh, Louise, love her. And I'm going to go ahead and screenshot that. I love those fall colors. This is really beautiful. If I wanted to do kind of a fall color collage, wow, this is awesome. I love that. And again, I'm just looking for stuff that kind of catches my eye. Stuff that would maybe look good in a grid. I like to feature ones that are really good, um, but also that would not look good in a grid. Um, so let's see. Oh, that's so pretty for like a black and white grid. Um, let's see. That's kind of neat. And again, I'm just kind of looking around. Just kind of got some neat color. Looking for colors also that might go well together. Um, let's see here. So I'll kind of just look around and see what catches my eye. That's pretty rad for a black. Because, um, let's see, I Let's see if I have enough to make a collage here and how I would go about doing that. All right, so I'm going to tap out of this. I'm going to go to Layout, which is the Instagram approved collage maker. Um, and so I've got all of these queued up here. Um, let's see, what could I do? What could I use? So I really, wow. <laughs> so I really love this one. And I think that might go really well. Go well with this one, kind of the grays, you know. Do you see that kind of? Um, what else am I seeing? This one, this one, maybe. No, no. What do you think? Um, possibly. Let's let's just kind of play with this and see what we can get. I love the light in this one. I'm gonna go ahead and move this one to the upper left. I'm always thinking about composition. And compositionally, I really like my light coming in from the upper left of um, my pictures. And so even in a grid collage, you'll kind of want to use that as well. Um, I kind of like this. I kind of think I might roll with this. Okay. So now that I kind of have an idea of what this would look like, um, now I'm going to go to my spreadsheet because I've, I've got to eliminate anybody that has already been featured this week. So what I'm gonna do here is this is Lisa Renee 93. I'm gonna go to my spreadsheet. I'm gonna look for her. Is she on here? No, so that's a keeper. Who's this? Triptych Rose. I'm looking on the spreadsheet. No, that's a keeper. Who is this here? Um, let's see, look up here. Nope, that's a keeper. And then this one is Joy Wildflower Photos. Let's see. It looks like that's a keeper too. Sweet. Let me go check um, those ones that were featured in that nine picture collage. Nope, none of them, none of them, none of them. Okay. So this is actually a collage that I can work with. Um, so let me go ahead and put this one together. Okay, so I've checked all of these. We're good to go. Now I just need to make them fit well in 
the, um, the square format. And I will tell you, there have been several times where I really wanted a picture to work, but compositionally, it just didn't work as a square. So this is, again, this is layout. I'm just going to try to get these without any white lines because this is kind of a dark um, to increase that. And just, I just use my fingers to just kind of um, make them a little bit bigger, kind of expand them or zoom out, if you will. So there's that one. These look good. There's a little bit of a white line in between that. I might even make this smaller, actually. I want to make sure I'm including all the details of a picture if I can. All right. So, I this looks good to me. I like the tones. Um, this is a nice little fall collage to uh, to start with the day with. Um, actually, one thing I did forget to do that I'm going to do real quickly just to help myself out. Um, I'm, I've got, so I'm holding my phone and that's what I'm recording, but I also have my laptop in front of me because again, I'm double checking to make sure that these folks haven't been featured in the last week. Um, what I'm also going to do to help out my memory because I have no memory at all, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, type in my little spreadsheet here who I'm featuring today. So I'm going to type in Lisa Renee. All right, now I'm good. So I've got all of the usernames for these photographers um, right in front of me in my little spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and click save. That looks pretty. I'm going to go ahead and tap out of here. I'm going to go into Instagram. I'm in shared joy right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and there it is. I'm just going to hit next, next. And now I'm going to go ahead and type in my caption. And I like to use their names. I think that's a nice touch. Sometimes not everybody puts their names and so you don't know. And then it looks weird to put some people's names and not others. So if they all have Joy Wildflower. There it is. So if they all so okay, so that's Hannah. Let me let me do this. I like I like the names personally. I think that's kind of neat. So that's Anna. Let's see. I think that will work actually because the screen I'm typing in. Um, is smaller uh, than the actual Instagram screen. So I think that's going to work. But if it doesn't, I'm going to go in right away after I post it and I'll edit it so that it doesn't look terrible. Um, all right, so I'm going to return. I'm going to hit the, the period. I'm going to return again. Um, and I want to be sure that I use our main tag in here. Again, just as a reminder, you don't want to make it difficult for any new person to your hub to figure out what they're supposed to tag. Um, so you definitely don't want to make that difficult on anybody. So make sure to always remind them what the tag is that you're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and return. So I'm going to hit the OK button. I'm going to go ahead and tag everybody. Again, I'm looking at my spreadsheet in front of me as well. So, and Instagram does pre-fill this kind of nice for me. I'm just trying to make it good. Okay, cool. So I've got everybody tagged. I'm going to hit done. And then I think I'm good. I'm going to share it. There it is. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to see how it looks. It looks fine. It, it's a lot more room than what it looks like when you are um, in your screen where you're editing it or <clears throat> where you're creating your post. I'm going to go to Lisa Renee. I'm going to go ahead and I created a text replacement uh, shortcut, FT space post. Um, and I have a lot of videos that show how to do that. I'm not going to show you in this one, but I have a ton of videos that show that. Um, I'm going to comment, FT space post. That is it. All right, I think I am done. I've made my post. My picture is tagged appropriately. I've gone to all of the accounts and let them know that they've been featured. And 
I'm good. So I will look to do another post in like three to four hours or so, um, and probably another grid collage. We usually do a few grids and a solo feature, but if I see one that's really great, I'll, I'll do a solo feature. But um, yep, this is how I will start the day. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I hope you've uh, got some tips in there. And like I said, for that text replacement um, trick, I have a ton of video tutorials that show how to do that. So just check those out. Super easy on your iPhone. You can even Google it. Um, but I use that for tons of stuff. So, okay, guys, thanks so much. Hope this was helpful.